Oh, it's a bit twisted today. Hello, 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 hello. It's me. Welcome back to my channel. So I've got something a bit different today, what I'm doing. So I am doing a collaboration with a friend of mine, Penny M. So what we decided to do was we thought, right, let's go and do a bit of shopping, right? So I've gone and bought her a box full of stuff, which she's got. And she, oh, it's really heavy, Pen. I don't know what you got me in here, girl. She has got me a box full of stuff. Here, so they're mystery boxes. And she didn't, didn't know what was in mine. And I don't know what's in hers. So, this is what we are going to do today. We are going to get into the mystery box sent by my lovely friend, Penny M. Anyhow, when you hear, before we do that, you know the time of day. I said, you know the time of the day. Oh, yes, you do. Yes. It's time for my laugh on the loo with your girl, Lacey Long. How are you all doing anyway? You all right? I hope so. I hope so. Just done a nice big Primark haul. Um... Yeah, because obviously it's coming, you know, near to the old crimbo. Got to start getting all the crimbo bits in, haven't you? All right, anyway, what we got here, what we got here. Right, this is a joke, obviously. First man, my son came to visit for the summer holidays. Second man, that's nice. Do you know what? I've read the... Oh, Lisa, I've read this one already. Have I? Oh, I've read that one already. Listen, don't listen to me. I'm an absolute doofus. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Do not listen to me. All right, here we go. I've got a good one. A farmer, well, I say a good one, I hope it is. A farmer went on his first city break to see the sights of London. After booking into his hotel, he asked the receptionist what time meals were served in the restaurant. Or well, as you do. The receptionist explained, breakfast is served from 7 to 11, dinner from 12 to 3, and supper is from 6 to 8. But when am I going to get time to see the city? Asked the baffled farmer. It's gone right over my head again. I'm thick, thick as two short planks. I find it so exciting trying to pack myself into a small suitcase. I can hardly contain myself. <gasps> Leave an ocean. What do you call a snowman on a beach holiday? A puddle. It's a good one, right? Because we're coming here to the old crimbo. I'm not saying our hotel was cheap, but the Bible only had seven commandments. <laughs> That's good. You better be laughing, I tell you. Well, you know you get the Anyway, that was my laugh on the loo with your girl, Lucy Lou. Now, you also know that time of day, all right? It's time for my 1,000 shoulders, 227 facts that have never blown any of your socks off. Oh, yes, it is. Okay, it's time for my 1,227 facts. Oh, yes, it is. Are you ready? Jack Bauer. The lead character in the TV series 24, I believe that's Kiefer Sutherland, and I've seen him in real life, killed 112 people in the first five seasons of the show. I wouldn't know because I don't watch it. The longest hangover in medical literature lasted for four weeks. It belonged to a 37-year-old man from Glasgow. Oh, how does that work then? I mean, unless you're literally drinking all that, excuse me, I've got itchy schnoz, I'll show you um, unless you're drinking all day long for four weeks, solid, is that what that means? Can someone elaborate? I don't know. In 1715, a group of Jacobite rebels, what's a Jacobite rebel? Failed to take Edinburgh Castle, must be something to do with Scotland, because their rope ladders were six feet too short. Well, I tell you something, you Jacobite rebels, you should have got your measurements right. It's your, it's your problem. The first manager of the first McDonald's franchise was called Ed McClucky. <laughs> I like it. Ed McClucky. That's a good one. Although McClucky, because chicken's cluck, he could have been, he could have also worked for KFC, no? Who knows? But anyway, it's my 1,327 facts. 
I've got a snotty schnazzer. Yeah, I don't know about this barnet, you know. I'm not sure. I mean, I haven't done it today, as you can see. It's a bit wispy. But I'm thinking I'm going to put the pink on. I was decided, I, I said I weren't going <clears> to. <throat> excuse me, frog in my throat. And then I was like, what's, what's happening here? <sighs> yeah, and then I thought, do you know what? Shall I try the pink? And then if I don't like it, I could just put the dark on, can't I? Go back to, I just don't know. I'm not, I don't know. Anyway, let's get into what we're here for. My lovely, lovely friend Penny has sent me, where's my scissors? Need scissors on deck has sent me this mystery box so i sent her a mystery box mystery or a mystery i sent her a mystery box and she sent me a mystery box so i'm gonna open said mystery box i'm so excited right, let's get in there scissors on deck you know what i mean let's see what right, pen you better have sent me some good bits here girl i tell you no, she always does she always, I tell you, when she does her giveaways, she gives away some fab giveaways, her makeup and stuff like that. It's all high end, not like my crap. Let's get into it. Oh, air in my mouth. Cool, blimey, pen. Do you want me in here? She's got enough duct tape there to bleed and kidnap five people. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? I'm going to have to undo it and come back. Penny, what are you like? 35 years later and I'm in. <laughs> wow. Pen, that took me ages to undo, girl. I'll tell you what. Woo! Now, listen. This is what I can see so far. And so far, I'm loving everything I see. Now I feel like the stuff I've sent her was absolute dog poo. And you're probably going to agree when you see my video. You're going to think, Lise, her stuff was so much better than yours. I'm very excited, so here we go. Oh, it's heavy and all. Oh, right. I've got my glasses on so I can see better. So the first thing that my lovely Penny has sent me is this palette. And I believe it's an eyeshadow palette, but I'm not sure I shall get into it in a minute. Uh, yes, it's a 42 colour palette and it's by Beauty Bay. So let's have a look. Oh. Do you know what? In fact, a couple of my... I don't I, I don't re really wear a lot of eyeshadow. Well, I do wear eyeshadow. I have done since I've, I've already had a couple of pal um, palettes off a of penny. And that's what I use. I've got them on today. So, this is the nude palette. Oh, that's what it looks like on the front. Oh. Oh, yes. That is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Look at all them colours. Oh, wow. Oh, I love it. Oh, pen, I love it. I love it! So, so that's the first thit. Oh, God, I love it. Beautiful colours there. That is a for sure. Oh, so I'm putting it back in there. I know you could say, Lee, she could put it back in after. But I want to put it back in there. All right, so it looks beautiful in its box. So there's the first thing. Over the moon with that, I've got to be honest. Um, oh my God, she sent me a letter and I forgot to put one in hers. Oh, look at the way it's all stamped at the back. That is so beautiful, Lisa. Oh, Pen. My darling, I bleed and forgot. What an absolute idiot. Oh, I love this. This is gorgeous. Let me read it. I'm reading it to myself because I'm not sure if she wants me to read her note. But we we'll just say she's put, Hi, Lisa. I hope you like this box. All the best. Love, Penny. Oh, and she's also put a couple of earrings in here, she said, that she's made. Because uh, when you go over to her channel, if you go and have a look, she um, makes bits of jewellery as well, like earrings and stuff like that. Um, so, obviously, she's made me a couple of pairs of earrings. And when I get to them, I'll show you. Uh, it's 
freshly filled little me. I love that, and I'm so sorry, Pen. I didn't send you. I was I was in the card factory, and I knew there was something I needed to get. You know when I done that haul the other day. Oh, an absolute doofus. I could hit myself, really. Um, then she's given me, oh, lovely, masking rose and green tea sheep face mask. Beautifying. Lovely. I do love a face mask. Beautiful. I've got two of them. So me and Callie can do a little beautify night and we can like, we'll do our face masks and all that. Blended with opulent rose extract and green tea to help hydrate and glow. Yeah, that's what they say. What's this? The Flat Lay Co. The Flat Lay Co. London oversized silky eye mask. Oh, oh, let's have a look. Oh, oh, it's even in a. Well, oh, sorry, that's the little thing it come in the little boxy, envelopey type thing. And then you've got a little like, oh, look at that. The Flat Lay Low London. Oh, the Flat Lay Low. Oh, that's so cute. And it's a mask. Look, here we go. Night. <laughs> what do you reckon? <laughs> Can't put it over my glasses. Oh, I love it. That is so, so bloody gorgeous. Let me put it in the pouch. I want to put it in the pouch. All prettily, all prettily, do you know what I mean? There we go. Oh, shall I put it back in there as well? Yeah, let's. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, and then, so, oh, Midnight Bloom Foot Care Set. Now, she must know about my feet. My feet, right, I swear. The skin underneath, the hard skin is so hard, I literally could walk on hot coals. I ain't even lying to you. Honestly, listen, listen to this. I can make a tune with it. Tell me if you can hear it. No, turn your fan off. If you're wondering why I've got a fan on, for anyone who's never seen me before, it's because I'm always hot. Right, have a listen. Kid you not. That's my bottom of my feet. And the thing is, I have to be really careful when I do my feet because I've got diabetes and you're not really meant to do anything with your old feet oh yeah sorry got to put this on i'm always hot menopause been through it but i'm still hot so anyway i've got a midnight bloom foot care set foot lotion foot scrub foot mask nail file and toe separator look at that how gorgeous is that set and it's in this gorgeous tin like you can keep the tin afterwards and put i don't know like you could put your needles and cottons in there or i don't know you could put bits of makeup in there anything really or even you can put, you know what? That'd be a good little sandwich tin, I reckon. Yeah. I might keep that as a sandwich tin for my, when I do my ghost stunts. I do ghost stunts. Well, I don't do them myself. I go on them. <laughs> so that's that. I just looked at the clock. I thought I weren't recording. I just about to punch myself. Then this is a liqueur. I think this is from Aldi. Aldi do liqueur. Liqueur. Vitamin C hot cloth cleanser with muslin cloth. Gently cleanses and exfoliates to leave your skin looking and feeling refreshed. So that looks like that. Let's have a look inside. I think I might pass this on to my mum actually, Pen, because she likes things like this. Vitamin C hot cloth cleanser. Yeah, vegan friendly. I don't know, it sounds pretty nice. So there it is like so and then you have the muslin cloth muslin wasn't uh is it the turin thing muslin which is jesus right don't know i, I, I know it's something like that anyway you know what i mean yeah so that's that and then oh these must be the earrings oh i love the little oh pen i love the little boxes look little reindeers on them let's have a butcher's let's have a butcher's look in here so, oh, this is the first pair. And Penny said she made these with her fair hands. Oh, how cute. Oh, hang on. Get it in the right place. Hang on. Hang on, everybody. Oh, the little Christmas earrings. Oh, they'll get a bit caught up. One minute. Oh, look, how cute are they? Oh, bleed now. That's them postman for you. One of the trees come off. 
I have to try and put that, mind you, with my nails, can't do anything with my nails. So one of the little trees I'm just going to have to put back on. Look how pretty they are. I will get a tree back on and I'm going to wear them pen so you can see. How cute are they? Yeah, I just need to reattach the tree. I know, I know what you're thinking. God, you've got a good voice. Right, so that's the first pair. So cute. And what else have we got in here? Oh, they are so cute. They are so, so, oh, I love them. I love them. Look at them. Focus. Little Father Christmas earrings. They are so cute. Oh, I love them. They're so cute. Well done, Pen. I love them. I love them both. I love them both. They're so cute. I'm going to wear them actually Christmas Day. I think I'll put the big ones in the front because, you know, I've got a lot of earrings. Look. So I'll put the bigger ones in the front and then I'll put the littler ones behind where these big ones are. So cute. Lovely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then we have... Oh, a big load of, well, a load of bits in here. So let's have a look. So this is Intuition, a navy, yeah, navy t-shirt. I will wear that for bed because I love wearing separates like shorts and t-shirts. So... There's a little navy blue t-shirt there. It was originally five pounds, but yes. There's that. Oh, what did I just say about separates? This uh, bleed nail pen. They look more like a size 28. <laughs> meant to be a size 20, all right. Don't you say anything? They got they mind you, they got this thing on you can. Can you pull that in? I hope so, otherwise they're going to be falling down. They're going to be pulling me nicky nacky norms down to me ankles. But comfortable for bed. So they, them shorts there, will be worn for bed. Just have to pair black shorts. Hmm. Simply be forever love t-shirt it's a bit bobbly this one a bit bobbly <laughs> pen <laughs> ain't joking well here we, here we have a simply b size what did i say size 20 t-shirt yeah in multi-colors yeah and then what else have we got hmm then we've got i don't know what size it is but we've got like a big baggy top marks and spencers reminds me of the marks and spencers you know what they wear in the marks and spencers big baggy top there I don't know what size it is, huh? Now, I do believe this stuff here that she sent me, uh, she obviously she knew about, but this is an eBay mystery bundle. So Penny didn't know what was in there. It's just an eBay mystery bundle because she knows me and she knows that I probably wouldn't wear that. So it's not her fault, all right? Don't you be coming for my mate or you get the cups. So... Uh, an M&S &S top there. Um, Evans! I definitely am not fat enough to be wearing Evans stuff. I'm joking. <laughs> I am. I am fat enough. And who cares? As I keep telling you, you wear what you want to wear. Don't care what anyone else has to say, all right? And if they don't like it, they don't have to look and they get the cups. So this... Oh, is it a dress? 
Oh, I think it might be a dress, I'm not sure. Like a floral type dress. Blue and green little flowers. Flower power. Flower power. Oh, yeah. And, oh. What's this? Oh, blimey. Oh, blimey, she says. Boohoo. Size 20. Now, that actually is quite a nice dress. I don't actually mind that one. I would wear that. And I was looking at it from the front. It's got like um, these little arms. I quite like polka dot. As long as you don't style it like Mr. Blobby in it, we're all right. Um, and I thought from looking at the front of it, I thought, wow, that looks too tiny, though. Know? That's not going to fit the bouquet. Because, <coughs> excuse me, my bouquet, for any of you who don't know me, my belly hangs over my vag. All right? I can't see. I can't see my feet. <coughs> I've not seen them in years. And I thought that ain't going to fit around the books. But as I turned it around, I see there is elastic on the back. Look. So it would should stretch. It should stretch for the books. Let's have a look. I mean, not a lot, but I reckon I'll get it on. I reckon I will. Oh, that's a weird material. What is that? Oh, so that was originally from Primark, size 20. It's kind of like a dungarees, like a dungaree dress, like a velvet, a velvet dress, a dungaree dress. I don't think that's going to fit because there's no bleeding giving it. The rest of me is all right. I keep saying it's just the books. Nothing goes past that books. And I don't think the grey dress, but Kelly, I think it will fit. I know she don't usually wear dresses, but I think that would fit her, actually, and she could wear a pair of tights, doesn't it? So that. There's a couple more bits here. And then this is a... Oh, this is also would have been from Primark, Atmosphere. And it's a little off... The, like a cold, show, cold shoulder swing dress. God, it's ever so see-through. Look, pick a book. You see me through it. But I like things that are see-through. There. Just not on me. <laughs> so there's the dress. See through. Actually, I don't mind that dress. That I reckon I could look quite spondylicious in. And last, but by no means least, is. Very long skirt. Very, <laughs> very, very long, long skirt with a split in the back. So for me to wear that split, I might have to just get some scissors and cut it up much higher and then turn it round so you can show a bit of leg. But it is elasticated, so it will fit the books. Um, I've never ever wore a skirt like that in my life, but there's always time, you know, there's a first time for everything in this life. So I'll never say never. So that is. With the rest, I'm joking. That's the last of my stuff from Penny. So listen, um, I will link Penny's uh, channel down below in, oh, I know, in the description box below. I will link her channel. Go on over and show us some love. Love? Love. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's the end of my mystery box from Penny. So she will also be uploading a video, uh, the stuff I've sent her. Go and have a look when she uploads. Um, and as I always say, if this is the kind of thing you like, please hit the like please hit the subscribe and please hit your notification bell because it will tell you every time the little old me uploads. Hope you're having a lovely, wonderful day and I believe today is 1st of December. The 1st of December. Can you come on, get the shoulders going. The 1st of December. And what I'm going to do, I might... Um, Kelly's advent box, what I'm going to do, so that everyone can see what she's got, I might, like, 
film three days if you got I mean if they're opening it and then I'll put on three days at a time because if I just keep putting shorts on every day you all might turn and say I'm getting a bit bored of this you know you putting all this short malarkey on so I might do it in threes in fact that is what I'm going to do I'm going to do it in threes all right so anyway listen as I will say uh, I hope this is your kind I hope this is your kind of thing I really hope you enjoyed this video and please subscribe to my channel thumbs up like all that malarkey notification bell show pen some love and uh i'll see you in my next video Ta -da.